So now in this video we're going to look at the ferro crimping tool. I have here a 16 gauge wire and on it is a ferrule for the 16 gauge with the uh, black body there. And we have these little terminal blocks here. So I find uh, this just barely fits in here, but uh, there we go. You can see it fits in there pretty good and it will come out if we don't uh, screw this down. So we're going to screw it down and I find that uh, it may not seat perfectly when I screw it down. So I give it a tug and uh, it looks like it actually did that time. Sometimes it comes out a little bit but stops and then I just screw it down again to tighten it up and then usually it seats really well after that. I have a different color 16 gauge wire but I'm going to use white and this tool has a cutter. There's a little razor blade right there and uh, just a little bit that I'm going to uh, cut off because it's just for demonstration purpose. And I find if I have the tongue at its shortest setting, I got to get within the jaws there, it will strip about the right amount. The box of connectors that came with the tool that I will use has a little chart on here that shows you which connector you want to use. So we're going to use black for 16 American wire gauge and looks like that's a 1.5 millimeter square. So now this is stranded wire, which means there's a bunch of just little wires there. They're stranded together. That's so it's uh, flexible when you have a uh, longer wire. And uh, so I like to uh, twist it in the direction that that hand is going is the direction I like to uh, twist the uh, connector right there. There we go. And uh, we just uh, slide it down and the uh, plastic insulation of the wire will finally stop this from moving back and we have a little bit of space there but for the most part the wires are almost all the way to the end. And now we grab the tool. So it's ratcheting. It keeps locking in place as you close it and it has this uh, quick release right here if you absolutely need it. But uh, this tool works out pretty good for me without ever having to use that release. So yeah, you just insert it in there and uh, you can uh, shut it, make sure the wire's pushed out of the way. Then all you gotta do is give it a squeeze and release. And again, I find the 16 gauge works uh, really well with these little blue uh, terminal blocks right there, which are pretty common. Just gotta screw it down. And again, it uh, may not be seated uh, perfectly. And uh, so we tighten it down, give it a tug. It looks like it was, but if it uh, moves a little bit, uh, it should settle in place and then just tighten it down again and you should have a perfect connection there. 